Welcome back with the economy in recession and unemployment soaring. It is a scary job market out there. But if you're one of those who's searching for a new job in the new year, you have come to the right place this morning. Career coach and author of How to Get a Job and Keep It, Susan Morham is here this morning with five Ken can't miss tips, cannot miss tips on landing a new job in the new year. Susan, good morning to you. Good, good to see you. Morning. Happy New Year. Daunting task right now for anybody to go out there looking for a job. What are some of the things that they, they kind of need to address and attack as we look forward well, to the new year and a new first, job? First, be patient because, yeah. you know, it may take time. The average job search can take under normal conditions maybe three months, but yeah. it's not unusual to go six to nine months. And you have to keep in mind that most connections come through your own personal connections. So don't just rely on posting your resume or looking in one end. So you have to really kind of go into it with an open mind. Don't expect it to happen overnight. Go out there with a number of different opportunities that you could possibly focus Absolutely. on. You want to create a plan. Yeah. You have to attack this like with a plan in mind. You have to set goals. You have to set a time frame. You have to know what you're going after, but also know what you'll settle for. This isn't always the time to be picky. Sometimes an opportunity that's a little less than what you think you want can lead to something greater. Okay, so that was step one to create a plan. Step two now is treat finding a job like a job in itself. We always say it's easier to get a job when you have a job, but like you know what? It life. is so true. If you are unemployed, your job is to find a job. I mean, you want to start with setting up an office in your home, having all the right equipment. Get up every morning and get dressed as if you were going to work. It puts you in that mindset. You run out to places, to coffee, to the, you know, go get something printed. You run into people. You're always ready. Okay, so we've got create a plan, treat finding a job like a job. Tip number three, practice interviewing. So many people. They've got that job that they so, so long for, and then they blow it in the interview. You know, interviewing can be very stressful, and the only way to reduce the stress is by practicing. Yeah. Know some of the things you're going to be asked, prepare answers, practice saying them, practice with other people, because then when you go there, you'll be more comfortable and you'll be more prepared, and that really is the key. Is there is there a tip, though? I mean, in front of the mirror, with a friend? I mean, well, what do you one really of the things do? I suggest Because you put is everything the, on the wall. Yeah, line. do it in front of the mirror, do it with people, ask for feedback, but videotaping is a great way to see yourself as mm -hmm. others do. It doesn't lie. We don't like what we see on video necessarily, yeah. but it is the truth. That's how others see us. Okay, tip number four is market yourself. You have to think of yourself as a product to be marketed, and you yep. have to do what you would as if you had a brand new product. You have to be your own best advocate. You have to know your strengths. You have to sell them. You have to get out there and talk to people and really come up with a plan. So treat yourself like a new car. Well, a new car. That's, <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, do and finally, well. step number five, get a, make, get a makeover. If you're going to get a new job, how about a new you, right? You need a new you. And the thing is, we all get comfortable with the way that we look and we act and we dress. But you know what? You're going out there, and if you're competing against others, you want to look your best. And yeah. sometimes just changing your hairdo, getting a new outfit, you know, just taking time with your appearance is going to make all the difference in how you feel and how others perceive you. Five great tips right there. Hopefully, people have been writing these down. They can put them to good use. Susan, good to see you this morning. Well, thank you for Happy having me Happy New Year here. to you, and we wish you the best of luck out there if you are in the job market right now.